My name is Andrew Bruin. I'm from Tabernacle. I go to Olson Middle School in the Tabernacle School District. I go to Cinnamonson Middle School in part, which is part of the Cinnamonson School District. And our schools are hybrid, though I'm hybrid, but I'm fully remote. Hi, I'm Grace Yeager. I go to Indian Mills Memorial School, part of the Shimong Township. And my school is fully hybrid. Like, well, some people are remote, but I'm hybrid. My name is Maggie Levy. I go to the Palmyra Middle School and in the Palmyra School District. And I am fully remote, but my school is uh, hybrid. The hardest adjustment was probably not seeing my friends every day in school. And yeah. The hardest uh, thing for me in this experience is that uh, differentiating the home experience and then being comfortable at home and then doing my work at home. About the remote schedule would be going to school two days a week opposed to being home the other two. And that really um, hampered my ability to socialize and talk to my teachers. Um, the hardest thing for me was like the days that I'm home focusing because there's so many distractions at home, like my phone or like doing other things. So like the hardest thing is focusing at home. I think that an obvious answer would be to say that screen time has drastically increased. I think that one of the hardest parts for me is that it's much harder to stay involved in our communities while still being safe. So whether that be hanging out with our friends or doing a sports activity or even being part of a club, it's much harder to know that you're making a right decision for you and your family while still being beneficial to your school and your friends. And another part of that is that it's much harder to volunteer, even though this is a time when many people are in need of it. I think one positive thing from this is I can do my work on my own time instead of um, feeling forced to do it while I was in class because sometimes I need more time, but the class is go so fast when I'm in school. So doing my work on my own time and having that time to do it. Okay. Um, two po I have two positive things. And one is that I still get to go to school every other day. So I still get to see like some of my friends. And then the other positive thing is the days that I'm off, I get to sleep in a little bit longer. One positive that I think that many more people have been able to learn new habits of self discipline and time control because in school you're going by a very structured schedule but at home you have to make sure that you're getting all your work done on time and it's more on you than it would be any other year. I'd say a positive for this remote schedule would be the one-on-one -on -one time with my teachers. Due to the smaller class sizes and split schedules it's super easy to have personal and intimate learning experiences with my teachers. I'd say a positive experience would be I can work at my own pace while still being able to talk to my teachers if needed. I also get to spend more time with my family at home. It's handled it very well. We're very adaptable. So our schedule has been going fully remote and then back every once in a while due to exposure. But I feel like a lot of times we bounce back and a lot of my school has been full remote with only a handful of kids being in class. So their schedule didn't change as much. I know a lot of them enjoyed being able to stay home. While people have adapted relatively well considering the situation, there's been a lot more stress in my classmates from what I can see. And whether that be through technological difficulties or just worry that they're going to harm their family or friends in some way, it can definitely, it's enough to make anyone worried really. Um, I think that my classmates are handling it really well because everyone's still getting most, like most of the people are getting their work done. My classmates aren't handling it that well because uh, I've talked to a lot of my friends and a lot of them are failing classes when they've never failed before. Or uh, I'll ask them like, do you understand what we're doing? And they'll just say, no, I've been on my phone the whole time. I have no clue. Um, my classmates have really adapted well. They still do their work and finish it on time. Some people aren't really that well with time management, but they get through it. Honestly, I think all of my eighth grade academic teachers really did because 
the days that I'm home, they still make it feel like I'm in school with like the Zooms and they're always there like if I have to ask questions. So just like all of my eighth grade academic teachers. My social studies teacher, Mr. Kramer, he really uh, transitioned well into virtual learning and he had the class that my whole homeroom was looking forward to every day. Um, this year, my math teacher, Ms. Misselwitz, she is very good at talking to us about projects and tests, and she's always there if we need her. One teacher that stood out for me is my seventh and eighth grade, so I had him last year and this year, a uh, social studies teacher, Mr. Slocum, because he really engages with the class and makes class fun, and he really wants us to succeed. It's clear he wants us to learn and get good grades and not fail his class. <laughs> that really stood out to me was my strengths teacher, Mr. Hercock. I've actually had him since third grade and I plan on having him all through high school. And in a year of so many inconsistencies, he consistently is a highlight of my day. He helps us to not only grow as strings players, but to grow as people. And he always makes that a very um, a happy and enjoyable environment. A teacher that has very much inspired me throughout this school year would be my Algebra 1 teacher, Ms. Bilo. She is always so enthusiastic in the workplace and always challenges us to do our best. Regardless of how much we complain, she loves pushing us to our limits and making sure that we understand the material. I want my high school teachers to know about my grade is that we're not afraid of a challenge. And to cite from the International Women's History Day speakers, which is today. Um, change comes from a challenge and that many people have lived through some sort of trauma or difficulty in their life and really beautiful things are able to come from that. So I think instead of trying to have this pandemic hold us back, I'd like a challenge that we're able to spring forward from it. One thing I'd want my teachers to know about my grade is that we're very flexible, we adapt a lot, and I'd say that due to like the ever-changing seventh and eighth grade year, that we're ready for anything and that we're fully ready to go into high school, especially since my grade moves throughout so many different high schools, it'll be good to have a very sturdy and reliable high school experience. I think one of the most important things for my teachers to know about me in high school is that despite being quiet, I am a good student and a good person. Um, I'm pretty shy, but I still work to be one of the top students in my grade and student council president. It is important for teachers to get to know their students without any prejudgments. Uh, one, one, one thing I would like my teachers for next year to know is that while I might get some missing or late work, I will turn it in and I am not perfect, but I try my hardest in school and I try my hardest to not get any zeros, even if the work is turned in late, but try my best on the work, most importantly. Um, something that they should know is that like, I like to um, do more hands-on activities and like talk with the class and listen to one long lecture about something. So, yeah. I would hopefully like to work in a field where I can incorporate some of my passions, which include writing and helping people. So whether that be medicine or something I haven't discovered yet, I would love to work in a job where I can really incorporate both of those things. Um, I want to be an engineer, either for NASA or just like an aeronautical engineer. Well, I'm not sure of like an actual idea of what I want to be when I grow up. Uh, I definitely want to succeed the best I can in school and push through it and try my hardest in it. And I want to make good friends along the way and just be the best person that I can be. I will work hard to keep up my grades um, by taking honors and AP courses to get into a good college. I will also continue continue playing classical guitar and hopefully be involved in student council and other high school clubs. Following college, I would like to pursue a career in psychiatry because I have the drive and desire to help people.
I feel like I'm a good listener and would like to use that gift to help people. I'd like to graduate top of my class at high, in high school. I want to attend law school, become a, become a partner by the time I'm 30, and hopefully become an esteemed judge later on in life.